Hi Internet! Welcome to the Gretron YouTube channel. To celebrate the release of Final Fantasy 16, I decided to release 16 videos ranking the Final Fantasy games in a variety of categories. Each game has their strengths and weaknesses, so I thought it would be a fun way to compare and contrast the games. These lists are just my personal opinion, trying to balance objectivity and personal preference, and likely failing to satisfy anybody. So, if you disagree with my ranking, which you probably do, let me know your ranking of the subject in the comments below. In this video, I'm going to be ranking the music from each game. Out of all the categories, this is the one that's most subjective and based on personal preferences, so I'm expecting wild divergence in the comments. This is another category where I'm only factoring in the music of the base game, so MMO expansion music does not count, but any music added into remake versions of the games is fair for consideration to ensure a more even playing field. This ranking is only of the 15 mainline games, plus tactics for good measure. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, on to the ranking. Number 16, Final Fantasy XII. Final Fantasy XII is the only soundtrack in the main series I would say is actively weak. The series is mostly known for very melodic, catchy music, which tends to be my music taste in general. That's not to say I can't enjoy more ambient and atmospheric tracks if done well, but my preference leans towards tunes that you can hum, even if they're instrumental. Twelve soundtrack more sounds like generic film score music. This game has no battle music for most combat aside from boss battles, so you'll be hearing the zone music whenever you're engaging in combat, but most of the zone music is mellow and incredibly forgettable. There are a few standout tracks in the soundtrack, like the theme for Rap and Aster, the Dalmaskan Desert theme, But overall, the music fades in the background and doesn't do a good job of enhancing the world experience or offering much in terms of listening to outside of the game. It may sound like I hate this soundtrack, but I've actually grown more fond of it over time, and i found I appreciate it more and more. But the weaknesses in the OST remain, and it's an easy last place. Number 15, Final Fantasy XIV. Again, the ranking of these soundtracks are not factoring in the expansions, so this is where the OST for A Realm Reborn ends up. Like Final Fantasy XII, the feel of the soundtrack feels closer to film score music than traditional Final Fantasy music, but unlike XII, the music here is generally pretty memorable. For starters, there's an actual battle theme, and it's pretty decent, so it has that over XII. But even beyond something so simple, I can safely say I love a lot of the music in this game. 
The swashbuckling theme of Limsa Lamensa is perfect. The music for Olda captures the grandeur of their ruthless capitalism. And then there's Gridania, which sounds like music perfectly suited for the Shire. There's plenty of great music in 14, but it's also not necessarily the musical style I prefer in Final Fantasy OSTs. Soken's style is very different than Uematsu's, who is generally the standard bearer for what I expect and want from Final Fantasy OSTs. But different doesn't necessarily equal bad. While a Realm Reborn soundtrack may stand out in the grand scheme of the series, it fits the game incredibly well. And of course, I do need to mention that Uematsu actually wrote the majority of the soundtrack for the original version of Final Fantasy XIV, but since that version of the game no longer exists, it's not the version of the soundtrack most considered to be canon at this point. 1.0 had a lot of great music, and while some of that carried over to A Realm Reborn, most of the ARR tracks are Sokens, and very much in his composition style. I wouldn't call the score for A Realm Reborn bad by any stretch of the imagination, and while I do like it quite a bit, I simply like most of the OSTs in the series more than A Realm Reborn soundtrack. Number 14, Final Fantasy XI. Final Fantasy XI's soundtrack does a great job of maintaining the classic Final Fantasy feel of the SNES and PS1 era. While Uematsu did contribute a few tracks and themes to the game, the vast majority of the soundtrack was composed by Naoshi Mizuda, including the expansion packs. However, this ranking is based solely off the music in Base 11, composed by Mizuda, Uematsu, and Kumi Tanioka. If all of the expansion music was counted towards this ranking, 11 would rank much higher on the list. But I'm giving 11 the same handicap as 14 in this ranking to keep things fair. 11's OST does a great job of capturing the classic Squaresoft era charm in its music through its usage of strong melodies and pleasing sound fonts.
most of it not being composed by Nobuo, you can place it next to those OSTs and have the music fit in extremely well. Mizuda is a great composer who can adapt to a wide array of styles, as evidenced on his work in games like Final Fantasy XIII 2, Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy XV's Episode Prompto DLC. He's probably the most underrated composer in the main series, and the music in Base 11 has some absolutely fantastic pieces. However, as much as I like Eleven's soundtrack, there are others on this list that are simply better. Number 13, Final Fantasy V. For some reason, I've seen a lot of hate for this OST online, and for the life of me, I don't understand why. It's Prime Nobuo in the middle of the SNES era, full of exquisite melodies. The battle theme is incredibly catchy, 
bouncy, and fun. So is the main theme. So is the ending credits track. Most of the soundtrack falls into the catchy, bouncy, and fun categories. There are some more somber moments on the OST, but for the most part it's a good time. Most fans point to Battle on the Big Bridge as the big highlight from this game. And while I like that track a lot, I think there's plenty of other tracks contained on this OST that are on par with it. The soundtrack is melodic and memorable, and for other franchises, this could easily be the best soundtrack in a series. But, because the standard of quality is so high across these great games, 5 soundtrack ends up ranking a little bit lower. Not because it isn't great, but because it has such fierce competition. Number 12, 
Final Fantasy VI. I have mixed feelings about Final Fantasy VI's score. On the one hand, I absolutely despise the main battle theme. It actively gets on my nerves and I don't like listening to it. On the other hand, the boss theme is possibly my favorite track in the series, and if it isn't my number one, it's often in competition for the top spot pretty consistently. theme leaves me feeling cold and uninterested. While Locke's theme is fantastic and fills me with excitement and exuberance. I think Celis has a fantastic character theme. that into Dancing Man. The score for 6 has some of the highest highs of the entire series for me, but also some of the lowest lows, and a lot of stuff I just feel kinda meh on. I love the soundtrack, but not as much as a lot of the other OSTs on this list. Overall, track for track, I think I actually like the soundtrack of Final Fantasy V more, but the highest highs of 6's music elevates it high enough to counter at some of the tracks I'm not too fond of, and in the end, it's enough to push it over the edge and barely defeat Final Fantasy V in the ranking. Number 11, Final Fantasy Tactics. Remember how I said different doesn't equal bad? That's definitely the case with the soundtrack of Final Fantasy Tactics compared to the rest of the series. With a heavier focus on dark drama and militaristic drum patterns, 
It fits the atmosphere of the game perfectly, but the music also manages to maintain catchy melodies and strong motifs throughout the entirety of the score. The music for Final Fantasy Tactics was done by the same team as Final Fantasy XII, Hitoshi Sakamoto and Masaharu Iwata. While I wasn't really into their work on Final Fantasy XII, I can say with full confidence that they are great composers, and in the case of Final Fantasy Tactics, they hit a home run out of the park with this soundtrack. It's catchy, memorable, and emotional. While darker than most of the series, there are plenty of fun, upbeat pieces and stunningly beautiful tracks that keep the game from feeling all doom and gloom. My personal favorite from this soundtrack is easily Trisection. The soundtrack for Final Fantasy Tactics is very different, but again, different doesn't equal bad. In this case, different equals excellent. Number 10, Final Fantasy XV. Final Fantasy XV is the first game in the series composed by Yoko Shimomura, who many fans wanted to take the mantle of Final Fantasy composer after Nobuo gradually reduced his involvement in the series, starting with Final Fantasy X. Yoko's work with Kingdom Hearts was what made so many Final Fantasy fans want her to take the mantle, as it showcased her flair for dramatic, emotional, and melodic music that was distinctly her own style, but fit the energy of Final Fantasy perfectly. Aside from Naoshi Mizuda, she is probably the closest in style to Uematsu and is a fantastic fit for the series. Yoko Shimomura is a musical genius with probably the greatest technical skill of any of the mainline Final Fantasy composers. I loved her music going all the way back to the music of Street Fighter 2.
and Super Mario RPG. So to hear that she was going to be the composer for Final Fantasy XV was something that got me really excited about the game. When I saw there was a concert at Abbey Road Studios of a live performance of Final Fantasy XV music, I stopped what I was doing to watch it live because I was so excited to hear the music and it didn't disappoint. The score for Final Fantasy XV has some of the best music this series has to offer. Battle music is epic. and the slower, more emotional music truly tugs at the heartstrings. There's a lot of variety in the soundtrack. Blues, jazz, rock, country, and of course, grand orchestral majesty. This soundtrack has some of the highest highs in the series, but it's also a massive score. And a lot of it is just okay. Nothing out and out bad, but not all of it is the best of the best of the best, sir. But again, there's tons of high quality music here. And I'll go on record as saying that the Florence and the Machine cover of Stand By Me might be the best vocal song in the series. Final Fantasy XV manages to maintain an overall degree of high quality throughout its OST, and because of that, this game's soundtrack earns a spot in the top 10. Number 9, Final Fantasy XIII. Different does not equal bad. Masashi Hamazu has a very distinct style, with a big focus on bright, sprightly piano lines, but still with a strong focus on melody. He previously worked with Uematsu on Final Fantasy X, where his music served as a great complement without clashing in terms of style. And so in many ways the music of Final Fantasy XIII feels distinctly Final Fantasy and fits in with the overall style of the series, despite having a unique identity of its own. Like Uematsu's scores, the pieces in this game are super catchy and melodic, making fantastic usage of leitmotif. It's a soundtrack full of bangers, featuring probably the most underrated battle music in the entire series.
The main battle theme gets a lot of hate for its combination of guitar rock, techno, and soaring violins, but I absolutely adore it and can listen to it on loop without getting sick of the track. I love the experimental instrumentation and think it actually works incredibly well together. There's lots of different flavors to this soundtrack, including some of the best jazz in the series. The entire OST actually has a pretty heavy jazz influence buried just underneath the surface of its Japanese melodies, which might be a weird combination of some, but I think the execution is brilliant. 13 soundtrack has plenty of high highs, but no real lows, and even the mid-tier stuff on the soundtrack is pretty great. The highest highs of 15 might be a hair higher, but the stuff in the middle eclipses the stuff in the middle of 15 score, thus earning it the number 9 spot in my ranking. I absolutely love this soundtrack. Number 8, Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 2's score is nothing short of brilliant. The music in the soundtrack is absolutely incredible and fits the mood of the game perfectly. The story has a darker and bleaker tone, similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, and the music does a fantastic job of capturing that desperate atmosphere without sacrificing Nobuo's strong sense of catchy melodies. theme is moody and reflective. Rebel Army theme, 
perfectly captures the essence of the heroic underdogs fighting what seems to be an unwinnable war. The battle music in town music in Final Fantasy 2 is stronger than the battle music in town music in Final Fantasy 1. It's really an incredible soundtrack. Remakes of this game have included additional tracks from Tsuyoshi Sakito, who you probably best know as the guitarist for the Black Mages. I best know for his work on the Brave Fencer Musashi soundtrack. Sakito has his own unique style, and the new tracks definitely have a Brave Fencer Musashi feel to them, 
which is great for me, even though they actually stand out a lot on the soundtrack because of how different they are. I do think Sakito's arrangements of Uematsu's originals are absolutely brilliant and appropriate for the material, so I can safely say that I vastly appreciate his contributions to the OST. Overall, this soundtrack is incredible, and the only reason it ranks lower than some of the others above it is that the other OSTs simply have a great abundance of iconic tracks. Also, the chocobo theme in this game is too short and does get kind of annoying to be honest. For those who care, my preferred version of the soundtrack is the PSP version. Number 7, Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3 has a truly incredible soundtrack. The NES version in particular had a very strong utilization of punchy percussion, especially in comparison to the first two OSTs. This score is full of charm and good vibes, similar to 5 in a way, but even more memorable and fun. The world map theme, Eternal Wind, is one of the best themes in the entire series. And the final boss theme is also a stone cold classic.
Crystal Cave theme is one of the best early tracks in the series, perfectly capturing the exciting mystery of the game's opening dungeon with its insanely catchy melodies. In fact, the entire OST does a good job balancing out a sense of adventure alongside a sense of magical mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. But there are also some tracks that just go hard. The battle theme is the best of the NES trilogy. and the punchy percussion of the NES OST also gives it the best version of the victory fanfare on the console. If all of that weren't enough, the Final Fantasy III soundtrack fixed the Chocobo theme by adding the second half and gave us the Fat Chocobo theme. Final Fantasy III's soundtrack is a masterwork, plain and simple. Absolutely fantastic. In general, I prefer the 3D version of the OST, though I do enjoy the NES original quite a bit for its punchy percussion. Number 6, Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X is the first game in the series where Uematsu didn't compose the soundtrack entirely by himself, and it was also the last soundtrack in the series where he was the primary composer until Final Fantasy XIV 1.0. The game's score was composed by Nobuo Uematsu, Masashi Hamazu, and Junya Nakano, but again, Nobuo was the lead. He composed 51 tracks compared to Hamazu's 20 and Nakano's 18. It's another classic Final Fantasy score with one of the best main battle themes in the main series. <laughs> compositions like the heartbreak into Xanarkand and the intensely satisfying battle with Seymour are stone cold classics as well.
but the other composers brought their A-game, and tracks like Hamazu's sprightly Besaid Island theme were able to become standout tracks on a soundtrack stacked with great material. Fantasy X soundtrack is consistently great, and was able to allow the series to pass the torch to other composers without sacrificing quality. It's a brilliant soundtrack and contains some of my absolute favorites in the series. While discussing this great soundtrack, allow me to stand on my soapbox for a moment. I vastly prefer the original version of the soundtrack to the remastered version of the OST because I think the brick-walled arrangements of the remaster lose the subtleties and nuances of the compositions. The best example of this would be the battle theme where the punchy percussion and bright synths are washed out by distorted guitars that end up darkening and distorting the piece. In addition, the lighter rock touch of the drums are replaced with a more mechanical modern metal style that loses the sense of groove the original had. This is the same musical approach a lot of the Pixel Remaster soundtracks have taken for their battle music, and honestly, I hate it. I find this kind of drumming to be generally tasteless, lacking any sense of soul, and crushing over the brilliant compositions haphazardly for the sake of a little extra aggression, losing the charm of the pieces and trampling over the hooks. As a songwriter, this approach really annoys me, because it loses sight of the important musical elements that made the original track so great. However, the Pixel Remaster soundtracks are generally adored by the community, and I think it's largely in part that the general Final Fantasy fan probably likes metal music more than I do, where I tend to come from more of a rock and roll background, and the approach to arrangement is vastly different. Metal is fine with having everything go in full blast at once, whereas rock tends to be more respectful of dynamic shifts. I could go on about this for a while, but this felt like the best place to bring up my thoughts on the subject. Let's go ahead and move on to the next soundtrack in the ranking. Number 5, Final Fantasy 1. Final Fantasy 1's OST is, simply put, iconic, classic, legendary. It's the game that gave us the main theme of the series.
Prelude. One of the best world map themes of all time. Victoria's Cave. Shrine. Gurgu Volcano. Cornelia Castle. While the main battle theme is a little weaker compared to other games in the series, basically every other track in this game is not only a banger, it's also iconic and legendary. The only real weakness in the soundtrack is how short it is because of it originally being a NES game and being the first in the series. Remix feature a few additional tracks by Tsuyoshi Sakito, and on this soundtrack he does a good job of incorporating Uematsu's motifs into his compositions, and the stuff Sakito wrote ends up mimicking Uematsu's style far more than his tracks for the Final Fantasy II remakes. That said, I will admit I like his additions to the Final Fantasy II soundtrack better. However, the star of the show is Uematsu's music, and it's an absolute home run, easily earning its spot in the top five. Number four, Final Fantasy IX. Uematsu considers the score for Final Fantasy IX to be his best work. The soundtrack is massive, boasting over 100 tracks and clocking in at around five hours. The soundtrack does a great job of mixing various styles while always fitting in with the game's medieval fantasy aesthetic. The score is absolutely brilliant, with my personal favorite from the soundtrack being its highly underrated main battle theme.
The music of Final Fantasy IX has a great balance of charm, adventure, whimsy, heart, sadness, menace, danger, and so much more. Every emotional beat is hit with absolute brilliance, and beyond that, they're all catchy. The only real weak link in the soundtrack, for my taste, is the boss theme, which I was never a big fan of. Everything else here is top tier. Some of the tracks are so good they've made me cry.
Shintel Uematsu put his heart and soul into the soundtrack, and you can see how he could become burnt out after such a massive undertaking. It ended up being the final game in the series with Uematsu as the sole composer, but what a note to go out on. The Final Fantasy IX soundtrack is something that Nobuo Uematsu should rightfully take pride in. Number 3, Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII as a whole is a pretty divisive and controversial game, but one of the more consistently praised aspects of the game is its music. While there's mixed reception of the world map music, Garden theme. And most folks really hate the S-Star theme. Basically everything else on the soundtrack is aces. Not only does Final Fantasy VIII have one of the best main battle themes in the series, the game also has an amazing alternate battle theme when you play as Laguna, so you get two top tier battle themes for the price of one.
the boss music is also among the best in the series as well. Fisherman's Horizon is one of the most beloved themes in the series with its wistful, reflective melodies. The opening theme, Liberale Fatale, is a monster of a track and is pure hype throughout.
Ultimecia's castle is incredible final dungeon music. Me could have used a better English translation, but it's hella catchy. The OST for Final Fantasy VIII is basically wall-to-wall -wall excellence and shows the best of what Final Fantasy has to offer. It's not afraid to be experimental, weird, or quirky. It's not afraid to be bombastic and epic or overly romantic. It's a fantastic soundtrack worthy of listening to on its own, even if you're not a fan of the game. Number 2, Final Fantasy IV. As great as Final Fantasy VIII's OST is, IV's is even better. Quite possibly the most cohesive score in the entire series, Final Fantasy IV's soundtrack is full of iconic bangers. Basically, everything is super catchy and memorable. Every battle theme in the game is a contender for the best battle theme in the series. The main battle theme is amazing. theme is amazing.
the special boss theme played during the four fiend boss battles is amazing. boss theme is amazing. But it's not just good battle music. The world map theme is a straight banger and might just be the best world map theme in any JRPG. Cecil's theme, the theme of the Red Wings, goes so hard. The dungeon music is pure perfection.
the town themes are full of personality and great melody. On top of that, this was the first game that gave us the iconic expanded version of the Prelude, with an expanded melody that takes the composition to new heights, and it's now impossible to imagine the Prelude without that great melody atop. The soundtrack is perfect and has zero flaws. Perfection. Number 1. Final Fantasy VII This soundtrack is also perfect and has zero flaws. Deciding between the Final Fantasy IV OST and Final Fantasy VII OST for the number one spot is incredibly tough. Ultimately, VII wins out because of the emotive atmosphere the music brings out. While IV does this as well, VII does it better. Seven's early moodiness in its OST captures a very distinct melodic flavor that is only contained within its soundtrack and is ultimately more powerful than anything else in the series. Those early Midgar tracks do such a great job of hypnotically lulling you into Seven's bleak sci-fi metropolis and carry an overwhelming air of sadness that perfectly encapsulates the feeling of those crushed by totalitarian capitalism. And at the same time, it's, say it with me, catchy.
The dark jazz tones of the early game are complemented by the brighter variety after the player leaves Midgar, but the sense of bittersweet melancholy is present in almost every trap to a degree, enhancing the themes of the story while also offering a whirlwind of emotional responses from the listener based upon their state of mind. The different emotions one can evoke from hearing Aerith's theme based upon whether or not they played the game and at what point in the game the player is at is one such example. Hell, even the gold saucer theme has an underscore of melancholy in it, which is impressive given how upbeat and optimistic it sounds upon first impression. But it's not just subtle emotional beauty on this soundtrack. No, there are plenty of bangers that go hard. The main battle theme is the best main battle theme in the series. The boss theme is competition for the best boss theme in the series, right alongside 6, 4, and 8.
One Winged Angel has lost some luster for me, but its iconic status can't be denied. That said, Sephiroth's actual theme, Those Chosen by the Planet, still gets me every single time. music goes hard. Cosmo Canyon, anyone? The music in Final Fantasy VII is transcendent and a huge part of why the game was so successful. It elevated the game's quality into the stratosphere while also being strong music to listen to in isolation of the game. It's easily my most listened to video game OST and, in my opinion, the best Final Fantasy OST. Thanks for watching this video. Again, these lists are my personal opinion and I'm definitely curious to see you guys posting your rankings in the comments below. Be sure to do the YouTube things, the liking, the subscribing, etc. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out the other rankings in the series. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find peace and happiness in your life. Cheers!